you are watching video on SEE examination preparation grade 10 exam subject science this is going to be the revision of chemistry chapter some gases and this content does not give you complete explanation of the chapter as it is meant for examination preparation only questions and the topics mentioned here have been asked in previous examinations in this part one revision we are going to study ammonia gas and we will revise carbon dioxide gas in part two revision Ammonia gas chemicals required to prepare ammonia gas in the laboratory are ammonium chloride and calcium hydroxide. Laboratory preparation of ammonia gas chemicals required ammonium chloride and calcium hydroxide. Chemical equation for the laboratory preparation of ammonia gases. Ammonium chloride reacts with calcium hydroxide on heating to give calcium chloride water and ammonia. 2NH4Cl plus CaOH2 on heating. CaCl2 plus 2H2 plus 2NH3. Again, 2NH4Cl plus CaOH2 gives on heating CaCl2 plus 2H2 plus 2NH3. So, this is an important chemical equation. You must remember this. Diagram for laboratory preparation of ammonia gas. The important parts are hard glass test tube. And hard glass test tube is filled with mixture of ammonium chloride and calcium hydroxide. Hard glass test tube is connected with lime tower by using a delivery tube. Delivery tube carries ammonia gas prepared in the hard glass test tube towards lime tower. And there is a gas jar which is placed uh, by making upside down with the help of a stand. And there is a retort stand which helps hard glass test tube to be fixed in the inclined position. There is a burner for heating. So these are the important parts of this arrangement. You must remember all the parts and labeling as well. Laboratory preparation of ammonia gas. Now the precautions, the precautions that should be taken for the laboratory preparation of ammonia gas. The precautions, apparatus must be made air tight so that the air from outside cannot enter into this arrangement. The hard glass test tube should be fixed in an inclined position towards its mouth. Heat should be provided uniformly. So three precautions. Apparatus must be made airtight. Hard glass test tube should be placed in inclined position towards mouth and moderate heat should be provided uniformly. So these are the precautions. Now we are going to see the next part that is test of ammonia gas. <clears throat> test of ammonia gas. So it can be asked in this way also in examination. Write a test or two or three for ammonia gas in laboratory. A wet red litmus paper changes into blue color when inserted into gas jar containing ammonia. Ammonia is a basic gas. So base changes red litmus paper into blue color. So it can be asked this way also. How can you show that ammonia is a basic gas? So for this question, you can write this statement. There is one more explanation to show ammonia is a basic gas. What happens if ammonia gas is passed into water containing few drops of phenolphthalein and Y? Ammonia is a basic gas. It forms ammonium hydroxide when dissolved in water. The colorless phenolphthalein changes into pink color in basic solution when it is treated with alkali. So, when ammonia is passed into water containing few drops of phenolphthalein, the solution changes into pink color. So, here when ammonia comes into contact with water, it forms ammonium hydroxide. Ammonium hydroxide is an alkali or basic solution. And when basic solution is treated with phenolphthalein, then it changes into pink color. Solution changes into pink color. So, this is the explanation for ammonia is a basic gas okay it is basic in nature so the next test for ammonia is it gives pungent smell means very strong smell it forms white fume of ammonium chloride when a glass rod dipped in hydrochloric acid is taken in this jar so a glass rod uh, will be taken and it will be dipped in HCl hydrochloric acid and immediately it is introduced into the gas jar containing ammonia gas. So the gas jar on gas jar white fume will be formed and that white fume is of ammonium chloride. 
so this can be asked in this way also what happens when hydrochloric reacts with ammonia gas hydrochloric acid reacts with ammonia gas ammonia plus hydrochloric acid gives ammonium chloride ammonium chloride is a salt and its uh, appearance is white color white fume it forms white fume so glass rod dipped in hydrochloric acid is taken into the gas containing ammonia so there forms white fume on the glass rod white fume is because of formation of ammonium chloride so this is the taste so these are the taste for ammonia gas now the physical properties of ammonia physical properties of ammonia it is lighter than air that is why it is collected by making gas jar upside down that is why it is collected by downward displacement of air it is highly soluble in water that is why ammonia gas cannot be collected over water or ammonia cannot be collected over water or by downward displacement of water because it readily dissolves in water to form ammonium hydroxide ammonium ammonia gas dissolves in water quickly to form ammonium hydroxide that is why it cannot be collected over water or by downward displacement of water and number three point it freezes at minus 78 degrees celsius by rounding up we use this number generally this temperature is used for freezing point of ammonia otherwise exact temperature is this but you can use this one minus 78 degrees celsius so the three physical properties of ammonia gas it is lighter than air it is highly soluble in water and it freezes at minus 78 degree celsius temperature <clears throat> now the next part we are going to do is name the drying agent for ammonia gas in its laboratory preparation or the question can be asked in this way also why calcium tower is used in laboratory preparation of ammonia gas <clears throat> calcium tower or quicklime cao it is the drying agent for ammonia gas in the laboratory preparation calcium oxide absorbs excess amount of water vapor which forms along with ammonia gas okay so that dry ammonia gas can be obtained dry ammonia gas can be obtained in the gas jar that is why calcium tower is used in laboratory preparation of ammonia gas so ammonia is collected by downward displacement of air because ammonia is lighter than air downward displacement of air means by making gas jar upside down okay so because ammonia is lighter than air now what is Haber's synthesis right the conditions required for it so this is an important topic in ammonia gas how is ammonia manufactured at a large scale give its chemical equation so this can be asked Haber's process can be asked in this way also okay there are different ways of asking question so this is the Haber's process now the process by which ammonia is manufactured at a large scale by direct combination of nitrogen and hydrogen is called Haber's synthesis again the process by which ammonia is manufactured as a, at a large scale in large amount by direct combination of nitrogen and hydrogen is called Haber's synthesis the conditions required for this process are high temperature around 500 degrees celsius temperature high pressure 200 to 900 atmospheric pressure and catalyst must be used which is iron in this case and promoter molybdenum so these are the conditions required for Haber's synthesis okay manufacturing of ammonia nitrogen plus hydrogen gives ammonia on heating and under uh, pressure in presence of iron catalyst and molybdenum promoter n2 plus 3 h2 gives 2 nh3 along with liberation of heat because this is an exothermic reaction 500 degree celsius temperature iron fe iron molybdenum mo 200 to 900 atmospheric pressure molybdenum mo over here it is molybdenum which is a metal and it is used as a promoter in this chemical reaction so this is Haber synthesis manufacturing of ammonia now this is important topic 
Now the next is <clears throat> chemical properties of ammonia. Ammonia reacts with carbon dioxide to form urea. Urea is a chemical fertilizer. Now this property can be written in ammonia as well as in carbon dioxide. If you remember this one point, you can use this point to write in both the cases. Okay, ammonia as well as carbon dioxide gas. So ammonia reacts with carbon dioxide to give urea and water. Okay, 2 NH3 plus CO2 carbon dioxide and heated at 1500 degrees Celsius. Urea NH2 CO and H2. This is urea and H2O is water. 2 NH3 plus CO2 gives NH2 CO and H2 plus H2O. So this is formation of urea. And another chemical property for ammonia is ammonia reacts with hydrochloric acid to form ammonium chloride, which you have studied in its test. Okay, you can write this chemical equation here also. So these are the two chemical properties of ammonia. And this is for carbon dioxide. We'll discuss it later. <coughs> Define promoter. Give an example. Promoter is a chemical feeble catalyst, means weak catalyst, but it greatly increases the catalytic activity uh, of the given catalyst so promoter is a chemical substance or you can say it weak catalyst and it enhances the catalytic activity of the main catalyst which enhances the catalytic property of main catalyst example molybdenum mo inhibits process so promoter is used in uh, molybdenum promoter is used in Havers process. So this is an example. What is liquor ammonia? Very strong ammonia is called liquor ammonia. Concentrate, concentrated ammonia is called liquor ammonia. Give reason. Hard glass test tube is fixed in inclined position in laboratory preparation of ammonia gas. On heating the mixture ammonium chloride and calcium hydroxide, water vapor is also formed along with ammonia gas. So there is a chance of backflow of this water vapor if test tube is made straight which may crack test tube which is extremely heated at that point of time. So to prevent cracking of test tube it is placed in inclined position towards its mouth. Again you see on heating the mixture water vapor is also formed along with ammonia. There is a chance of backflow of this water vapor if test tube is kept straight which may crack test tube which is extremely heated so to prevent cracking of test tube it is placed in inclined position towards its mouth so this is the reason for keeping test tube in inclined position now we are going to see the uses of ammonia uses of ammonia ammonia is used for developing blueprint of map Developing blueprint of map, you have to remember this point. Sometimes it is asked, name the gas which is used for developing blueprint of map. So this is ammonia. Ammonia is used for manufacturing chemical fertilizers like urea and ammonium sulfate. This is very important point. Ammonia is used for manufacturing chemical fertilizers like urea and ammonium sulfate. These are common chemical fertilizers. Liquid ammonia can be used as refrigerant for preserving food stuffs. Okay, these are the uses of ammonia. With this, we finish revision of ammonia and we are going to study carbon dioxide in part 2 revision.